Hello friends, welcome to Automation Community. Today, in this video, we are going to discuss an example on street light control. So, let's look at the example first. Street light control. The street light gets on for 20 seconds when there is any movement detected and then blinks with an interval of 2 seconds, then gets turned off after 30 seconds. Which means, when a movement is detected, the street light turns on for 20 seconds, and after 20 seconds, the street light will blink for 30 seconds, with an interval of 2 seconds. That means, it will be on for 2 seconds, off for 2 seconds, then again on for 2 seconds, and again off for 2 seconds, and it will be for 30 seconds, and then after 30 seconds, light will be off. So in this case, we will use normally open contacts as well as normally closed contacts. We will also be using some memory bits, and with that also, we will use timers like TP and TR. So, let's move to Eco Structure Machine Expert where we will draw a ladder diagram to control street light. I will open Eco Structure Machine Expert Basic. I will keep read protection as inactive and write protection as inactive. We can also set password here for read protection and we can also set password for write protection. That means uploading the application from the controller is unrestricted in case of when we keep it inactive. And if we keep it active, then uploading the application from the controller will need password. And also, downloading an application to the controller or modifying the application in the controller is unrestricted. So, in case we will keep it active, then download and modifying the application in the controller will be restricted. That is, it will need a password. So, for now, we will keep both these protections as inactive. And then I will click on apply. Then I will go to configuration tab. So here we have to configure a device. We have to select a logic controller. So here is a list of different logic controllers. So I will select TM221C24R. I will click on it and then drag it to here. Do you want to replace? you may lose some features and associated configuration. I will click on yes. So the device I have selected that is DM221C24R. Here is a description about this device that is it has 14 digital inputs, 10 relay outputs, 2 analog inputs, 1 serial line port and 100 to 240 volt AC power supply controller with removable terminal blocks. After configuring the device, I will click on serial line where I can keep the protocol settings and serial line settings. So, firstly, I will click on protocol and select it as TMS 2GDB. And when I have selected protocol as TMS 2GDB, there is no need to keep the serial line settings and then I will click on apply. After that, I will go to programming tab. So here I will be drawing ladder diagram for street light control. I can also click on this option 
for a full screen mode and then I will zoom into it like this. So firstly, I will insert a normally open contact. I will assign address to it as I 0.0. I will also add symbol to it as sensor. Yes, so the sensor will detect the movement. And then I will insert a coil here and I will assign address to it as M0, which is a memory bit. And for memory bit M0, I will use a timer here and that should be TP. I will change time base to one second and I will keep preset value as 20 and then I will click on apply. So when a sensor detects any movement, M0 will get true for 20 seconds. With M0, I will insert one more coil here. I will assign address to it as M1 and for M1 I will use a timer on delay timer that is T on and I will change time base to one second and press it value as 20 and then click on apply. Then I will insert one more timer here and that will be TP. I will change time base to one second and preset value as 30 and then apply. Then I need to connect these so I will click on this option and then draw a line like this. So, when a sensor detects any movement, M0 will be true for 20 seconds. And for M1, there will be a delay of 20 seconds. And after 20 seconds, M1 will be true for 30 seconds. Then, I will add a new rung. And here, I will insert a normally open contact. I will assign address to it as M1. Then I will insert a coil here and I will assign address to it as M3. That is another memory bit. And for M3, I will use a timer here and that should be TP. I will change time base to 1 second and preset value as 2 and then click on apply. Then I will insert one more coil here. I will assign address to it as M2 which is again a memory bit and for M2 I will use a timer that is on. I will change time base to 1 second and preset value as 2 and then apply. After that I will connect it like this. And then I will add a new run and here I will insert normally open contact and then a coil. I 
I will assign address to this normally open contact as M0 and I will assign address to the coil as Q0.0. I will also add symbol to this coil to this output as street light. Yes. And here I will insert one more normally open contact in parallel with M0. I will assign address to it as M3. And then I will connect it like this. So, this memory with M2, we will use this as normally closed contact here. So, I will insert a normally closed contact here and I will assign address to it as M2. And here, I will insert one more normally closed contact and I will assign address to it as Q0.0 .0, which is a street light. So when a sensor detects any movement M0 will be true for 20 seconds. So, when M0 is true for 20 seconds, that means street light will be on for 20 seconds. And after 20 seconds, for M1, there will be a delay of 20 seconds. And in those 20 seconds, M0 was on for 20 seconds. And when M0 was on for 20 seconds, that result in street light was on for 20 seconds. After that, M1 gets true for 30 seconds. We have used a timer TP here and the preset value is 30. So, M1 will get true after 20 seconds and it will be true for 30 seconds. And in those 30 seconds, when M1 is true, M3 will be true for two seconds and when m3 will be true for two seconds that results in street light will be on for two seconds and after two seconds that is when street light will be off so when street light will be off, then there will be a delay of 2 seconds. And after 2 seconds, M2 gets true. And when M2 gets true, then again M3 will get true for 2 seconds. That is, when M3 gets true for 2 seconds, then off for 2 seconds. Then again on for 2 seconds and then again off for 2 seconds and it will repeat this process. So which results street light will be on for 2 seconds then again off for 2 seconds then again on for 2 seconds and then again off for 2 seconds and it will repeat this process until M1 will be off. So M1 will be off. M1 will be off after 30 seconds. M1 will be off after 50 seconds when the sensor detects. That is, when sensor detects, M0 will be on for 20 seconds and M0, M0 turns on street light for 20 seconds. And after 20 seconds, M1 gets true for 30 seconds. And in those 30 seconds, when M1 is true, that is M1 is true for 30 seconds. And in those 30 seconds, M3 will turn on 
for two seconds and then turn off two seconds then again turn on for two seconds and then again turn off for two seconds and that results when m3 gets on and off on and off for two seconds on two seconds off which results street light will also get on and off on and off for two seconds that is two seconds on two seconds off two seconds on two seconds off and it will repeat this process for 30 seconds so i will exit full screen mode i will compile the program And then I will go to commissioning and launch simulator. Then I will start controller. To do so, click OK. Then I will go to programming where I will click on full screen mode. So when, it, when the sensor detects any movement, that is when I 0.0, .0 gets true, M0 gets true. And when M0 gets true, street light will be true. But M0 will be true for 20 seconds, which results street light will also be true for 20 seconds. And for M1, there will be delay of 20 seconds. So when a sensor detects any movement, M0 gets true for 20 seconds. And when M0 gets true for 20 seconds, street light will be on for 20 seconds. And after 20 seconds, street light will blink with an interval of 2 seconds. 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2. And it will be until M1 is off. So here M1 is still true, so it will blink. So M1 will be true for 30 seconds only. 26, 27, 28, 29, 30. And after 30 seconds, street light will be off. It was all about this example. Thank you for watching.